Have you ever wanted to make a Roblox game? But there's one problem. You don't have a computer, but you only have a mobile device. But in this video, I will show you how to get Roblox Studio on your mobile so you can create your first game. Make sure to not skip any parts of this video or this might not work because the process is kind of complicated. But I'm also going to be giving away some Robux to you guys so you can start your developer journey. So if you want some Robux to start your developer journey, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment choosing it 10 times in the comment section. The more times you comment, there's a better chance I'll see you. In today's video, I'll show you how to get Roblox Studio on your mobile device. And as much as you guys think that it doesn't exist, it actually does. And you guys might be asking, well, like, how do I get Roblox Studio on my mobile device? Well, in this video, I will show you because it's actually kind of more complicated than just downloading Roblox Studio on your computer because you actually can't download Roblox Studio on your mobile device. So make sure you guys don't skip any parts of this video or it might not work. So for you guys who can't afford a computer, or don't have a computer please watch this video until the end now once you're in this roblox app do not go on chrome yet don't go on safari or any of the browsers that i named click on more now you will see a lot of these buttons pop up and don't click log out but make sure you click switch account and check that you're on your correct account now i do want to use my mature account for this video so i will use it now you'll see a lot of these buttons so click uh don't click settings but click create this is the button that you need to click because this will actually pop up with the creator hub as you can see it says welcome back to creator hub mature now then again we'll double check if we want to use our account or any of the groups for this tutorial i will use my account but you can also use any of the groups that you guys have here i have quite a few so i'm gonna scroll down and it's gonna say get started do not click on this and do not click on download now for this i can, you can use any of the games but in this case i will use welcome to mature land now make sure you click on manage experience by holding on here and clicking manage experience once you click manage experience make sure that you do not click anything else don't rename the game don't put on the thumbnail yet you can do this later on once you create your game now scroll down don't look at description or genre and look at the privacy it's gonna say private or public make sure that you that the experience is public and not private because we actually want people to see the experience even if we didn't make anything on it yet and make sure that you guys enable uh, studio access to api services we will need this later and i will tell you guys why but it won't insert any viruses in your game and do not enable mesh and image apis for now again you can check uh, who you want to be the owner of this game and we want to make sure that it's the correct account and the correct group and you can click save changes here but for i already enabled uh, studio access to api settings so i actually don't need to save any changes now click cancel once you're done save, save changes and you will see this here okay and you're done here for now so you can go back to the dashboard and i will guys show you what to do next now my game is public but you might see something like this public but unrated you guys need to rate your game now we'll show you how to do that click on this unrated thing now uh, for me uh, I, this experience that I'm using for this tutorial is rated but I will show you guys how to go through the process if your game is not rated make sure you click on start and you will see a lot of these questions but since our game is empty it obviously doesn't contain violence drugs gambling and stuff like that and you can guys click no to every single one of these questions there is around 17 questions and click save and continue now there's a bunch of these questions that you guys need to answer just keep clicking no let me move this thing and keep clicking no because our game is empty so it obviously doesn't contain any of these things and it's actually safe to play everybody can play our game safely from ages 0 to 99 plus we just want to uh, let roblox know that our game is safe because there's a new law that roblox added that you need to rate your games in order to to see them now you only need to do this if you guys want your game to be public and since you guys want to make a game you need to do this by law and there you go you'll see this preview and we'll see that our content maturity label is minimal which means that anybody from ages 5 and up can play our game make sure you guys click submit and for now you're done we've submitted everything that we need for this tutorial all right for the, so for the second part of this tutorial you need to use the chrome or the safari version of roblox so if you guys don't see anything like this just search roblox.com on your preferred browser and if you guys don't see a dashboard like me click on the three dots and click use version desktop version of the website and then you'll see something like this something very similar so once you're here make sure you guys click on create so something similar like we did in the app but we're doing this 
on our mobile device now make sure that you again make sure that the account is correct because you're using a different version of a different client of roblox so this account is correct and we want to use welcome to matulan here so what you're going to do is hold on it and click view on roblox and hold on it don't click it and click view page the reason we're clicking this is because if we click for it to open it's going to open the app and we don't want to open the app now for this next part of the tutorial we need to make sure that this game is public on our profile so i'm going to click three dots and add to profile and the game will be successfully added to our profile just check as you can see the uh, maturity label is minimal ages 5 plus this is the maturity label that we added on our game so everybody from ages 5 to 99 plus can play our game make sure it's here and make sure the game is playable and make sure that everything says supported all right now we're gonna leave this and we're gonna click on the three dash three dashes in the top and make sure the account is correct again you need to double check this all the time and you'll see this open cloud thing click on it and click api keys it is a very important step and you'll see why and this is why we actually enabled the api system in our game okay once you click on the api extensions click create api key now for this you might need to type and we'll give it the name roblox test tutorial lake so for the description you can add anything and for this i'm just going to repeat roblox test tutorial lake there you go you can do whatever you don't even need to fill out the description but i recommend you if you plan to make more than one game to add descriptions and names so it's a little bit more organized access permissions this is why we actually enable the api key system because we do need to add our game here so once you click on here type in u n i v e r s E. You should pop up with all of these and don't click on any of these except the universe. Okay, this is the one we need and Let's just see if we need anything else uh, We actually don't don't click on any of these the universe is fine now the first thing is uh, Restrict which IP address this API key can be used for we don't need to click any of this and make sure it says no expiration But once we actually click on this it's actually gonna enter an IP address now for this You actually will need this if you want to publish a game You don't need this if you don't want to publish a game But if you want to publish a game you need to type this in but you don't have to type in your IP address You're actually gonna type in this thing that you see in the corner and I will read it for you guys Slowly and I'll type it out so you guys can see it zero point zero point zero point zero slash zero now you only do this if you want to publish a game if you just want to make a private game do you don't need to do this but uh you should just click add ip address and it should add it right here you should see it here down below and make sure it never expires so your roblox game doesn't break or anything so you can update it 24 7. you can click save and generate key and it's gonna pop up with the key so i will blur this right here but uh, you can copy it as well and we're gonna copy it for this video and just save changes to your key or you can click this button that says copy key to clipboard so i'm gonna do that as well just to make sure that i copied the key properly all right you successfully created an api key for your roblox game but what do you need to do else to actually publish your first roblox game now make sure you guys are back in your app so we can actually search for one of the games click on the search icon and you're gonna uh, oh you can see my key right there but you're gonna see this game studio light but i already played it so you need to search for it s t u d i o l i t e is gonna spell studio light make sure you guys search for that and don't click on any other scam uh, experiences that have barely any players these are all scam games but this is the first one made by scott click on it and it's gonna have around 1000 players and it's also gonna have a maturity label of minimal which is the same maturity label that we set for our roblox game so we're gonna actually join this game all right we successfully joined studio light and you we don't actually need a tutorial because i'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about this game so click close and you'll see this interface right here it's kind of messy but it is for mobile so you can actually turn around you can move anything that you want to move so click on move and you can move it with these arrows uh, you can also move with the green arrow so make sure you guys just know that you can also scale it let's make it a little bit bigger there you go and we can also rotate it a little bit so let me try to rotate it it's kind of hard to actually tap on these buttons but you can also come closer here to tap on it and 
there you go it's gonna work you can also play test it right there but for now click on select and click on toolbox you'll see a lot of these three models made just for this game so let's actually try to make something very nice so i'm gonna add a small live house and don't worry these don't have any viruses so oh this is kind of making me struggle to move so if you guys can move close the toolbox and then you can move successfully let's try to move it with this and let's move it right here and maybe we can pull it down a little bit yes we can by clicking the green dot right there it's kind of small let me go back on select and let's actually scale the house because i want a bigger house i'm a pretty big guy so there you go let's go back on select and we can move around and see how good the house looks this looks pretty gorgeous to me and let's see if we can actually add something else let's click on toolbox and i already see a lot of things that we can add so let's add a table okay so we guys can eat here let's scale it up a little bit again it's pretty hard to do it and i think this is enough for the tutorial and you can do all these things and we can also click play and we can also test our game uh, it's gonna take a little bit but yeah this is how our game is gonna look once we publish it and this is the desk it's perfect size and we can also enter this house as well let me see if i can enter yes i can click on stop and if you guys want to publish this you might need to follow this tutorial so make sure to click on file and then we're gonna click on save it's gonna save we're gonna click save as and this is the game we're gonna type in lake we're gonna actually just type a tutorial tutorial but you don't need to type that if you guys aren't making a tutorial but i am so i will type tutorial in here once we're done with that let me just close this real quick uh we can click publish everyone can play it and click save it's saving tutorial and everybody can play this tutorial that we just published now as you can see it's gonna say replace and it says welcome to Matula. this is the game that i actually wanted to use for this tutorial make sure that it says your roblox profile or a group or whatever you need and it's gonna say the api key now for this you're just gonna go back to your pasted links and we're actually just gonna hold here until it says paste and there you go we actually have our key here and once we click publish it should actually work now it's still publishing so give it some time because this is kind of you know complicated but once it's finished publishing you should be able to exit out the game and you should be able to play the game and see all these uh, files on roblox okay for some reason you have any problems when generating your roblox game and publishing it just go back to here and click universe places and after this i think everything should be fine and if it doesn't uh, don't worry there's gonna be a fix you might see an error on your game that says publishing error but try joining your game on your profile to see if there actually was a publishing error and if there wasn't that means that you successfully completed this tutorial